What's the word, y'all? It's your boy J Sites, and I'm back today with another tutorial. You feel what I'm saying? And today I'm teaching y'all how to use one of the titles that I got provided inside my Drill Essentials V2 pack. This right here is a frozen text that you can use for your titles. You feel what I'm saying? It's pretty easy to use. Just make sure you go to the website and go get that pack so you can get this project file. You feel what I'm saying? But with no further words, let's jump straight into this. Let's so if you have Blender 4.0 or later, you're good. You feel what I'm saying? So first of all, before you start touching things, I don't know how your interface is, but you want to make sure you come down to this right section. The right section, this is like your toolbar and shit. You feel me? This is what you use for your modifiers, and objects, and, uh, your object uh, properties, and your render settings, everything. You feel what I'm saying? And you're going to come over here to this little tool and you're going to just press the um the screen and just turn off that modifier real quick so now you just got some text here so come to your viewport and let's make sure that our text pops up right uh, it should be yeah uh, let's make sure it pops up right where this text is at so let's go to edit mode by pressing tab and click a spot and then you want to hit shift s and then hit cursor to select it hit tab one more time and then shift a and let's drop the text in there and when you drop your text in there let's rotate this by negative 90 and 90 degrees and then you're gonna change this to the wow well, this is gonna be like a yep 180 and then you want to hit like g and x to move it on the x-axis g and y to move it on the y and then g or like z to move it on the z-axis feel me all right so now that you have your text you want to press tab and go to your a the little a over here yeah these are your text properties so you're going to come over here and let's find a font i'm going to use a quick font like this yeah whatever this is and I'm gonna center it. So we're gonna scroll down and you're gonna find the horizontal, the paragraph section. And you're gonna put center. And then, yeah, let's move your text back to where you need it to be. All right, so now you just wanna right click the text now. Hit convert to and convert to a mesh. Once you do that, and you wanna take the text and you wanna hit Shift A and apply the scale, which is rotation and the location or you could just hit all transforms so now you're ready to animate so now you want to come back into edit mode and press a over your text and if you can't see your text and it's bothering you you could just turn off this uh this collection up here by just pressing this little check box and now you want to extrude your text by pressing a you press e and you could just extrude it in the z position now you situate it you got a 3d similar 3d text all right, and now let's uh, let's make this look a little more ice though. Let's let's hit this, and then let's go to modifiers on the text, and let's add a remesh modifier. Let's go to smooth and change this to five. Let's change the threshold to about zero point six. And let's, uh, let's smooth in these text out just a little bit. And let's change the segments to set. Now you wanna hit uh, shade tool and you wanna apply this modifier. So, all right, so now that you have your text extruded and you have it somewhat smooth, you want to come to the geometry nodes tab and the modifiers when you have your text highlighted. And you just want to. Sorry. You want to add that geometry node on. And now you have a frozen text. You feel what I'm saying? And how you get the ice frozen texture, you can just come into your settings holder and you can turn this off again. And you can come into the settings either get you a uh, ice texture that comes from blender kit or you can use the one that's provided with the project file by just going to the shading tab right this uh, click this and just click ice boom 
now you got an ice texture and if this doesn't work y'all just let me know down in the description below i mean or in the comments you feel me or if you're familiar with blender you can just go to one of the third-party websites like nba cg and you can just search for like ice or quixel bridge or any kind of you know any texture website and just find some ice and throw it on your text but yeah that's basically how you use that and if you have issues with the particle with the uh icicles that's because you didn't apply your uh, yeah, you didn't apply your scales correctly. You feel what I'm saying? You should never have an issue with that when you're dealing with geometry. That's what you gotta do is apply your scale. You should be straight. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah.